Shed engineering, but not as you know it. Model engineering without a lathe or milling machine. Hello there. My name is Alan. Alan Plum. And my nickname on YouTube is AP Line Walker. Just watching some of the model engineering videos on YouTube and there's some wonderful, wonderful models. Um, Keith Appleton, for argument's sake, uh, does some marvellous uh, instructional videos on um, model engineering and refurbishment of old engines. There's another chap called uh, Mr. Pete, Tubular Kane, and again some wonderful videos on uh, workshop per uh, engineering. Uh, he even casts uh, his own parts. Um, and ever since being a, a, a youngster uh, I've been interested in steam engines, mechanical things uh, and I've built all sorts of uh, models out of Meccano. Um But I, I, I can't afford the vast amount of money it costs to equip uh, a, a workshop I mean you need a lathe, milling machine and it's not only that you need pounds and pounds worth of other specialised tools along with um, the skill and know-how to use them tools and that's why I've got so much admiration for uh, a lot of you chaps out there um, it's, it, it's the years and years of skill that goes into being able to produce um, precision parts. I mean, even using a micrometer properly, um, you know, takes a long, long time to actually get used to measuring in uh, those kinds of dimensions. Um, the nearest I've perhaps got to doing anything like that is um, this little airfix kit, which I absolutely loved as a youngster. They've just reintroduced this uh, a couple of years ago. My dad bought me one of these. If I stand up, you can perhaps see it a little bit better. Um, my dad bought me one of these as a youngster. I don't think I did much of the construction because the tiniest little bit of uh, glue on any of the pivots and it would fail to work. Um, but a sweet, sweet uh, little model. And that's why I think I've probably been fascinated with beam engines. Been around the country looking at many, many beam engines. Um, and so it was a matter of lateral thinking to think, well, what can I do uh, in my humble shed with the tools and bits and pieces that I've got? Um, so that's how it started. Um, don't ask for plans or measurements. Part of the fun is that it's your own design. Um, and I've designed it. It's not that complicated. Um, there's a connection at either end. The distance between the pivot here and here is halfway between the uh, central pivot the length of the radius arm is uh, the same as half the length of uh, the beam. Um, the length of the crank, double that, uh, equals the stroke, etc, etc. And so, part of the fun is that it's your own design and you've got to experiment to see whether the parts you've got or the way you're going to do it uh, is actually going to work like making a, a, a piston. I did a little experiment with a piece of rainwater pipe, uh, a couple of discs of plastic with some felt in between, blew the uh, exhaust from the hoover in just to see whether I'd got a chance of making this work. Um, so if you're interested uh, you can follow me out into the shed and you can see what I've achieved so far. Okay, there we have the vacuum cleaner uh, with the exhaust blocked up 
and uh, the exhaust is piped out to the beam engine down that tubing and there we have my humble shed now don't expect too much it's still a a work in progress but there we have our beam engine uh, not a lot to look at at the moment uh, remember it is work in progress excuse me while I cross over um, the beam is made out of MDF as is the flywheel the main bearings are made out of MDF as you can see the columns are just uh, 2x2 timber timber for the girders obviously they look better when painted the um, cylinder is 4 inch um, 4 inch soil pipe the rod ends on the parallel motion are all filed out of uh, aluminium with little plastic um, inserts in there to act as the bearings I did have a MDF crank covered in aluminium foil uh, I changed that a couple of days ago for a solid aluminium crank that I filed down but I'm still not happy with that uh, it needs to be wider but the bit of aluminium I found uh, wouldn't allow that so we might have a another version yet I haven't got any bearing caps on the crankshaft as yet they're only temporary I did invest in some roller bearings um, I thought that would be worthwhile and I think it uh, I think it helps a lot so let's um, try and find the plug for the vacuum cleaner I'll make sure she's turned off just here uh, the pipe comes in and I've got a 22 mil valve if I can manage to keep out of your way I've got a 22 mil valve there letting the air into the valve gear so we'll just fire up the vacuum cleaner we'll close the door a little bit see whether we can keep the noise down um, just starting to open the valve a little bit past top dead centre air's just coming through and as you can you might have been able to see probably half a turn Just increase the airflow a little bit. I think she makes a lovely sound. turning it back down again the beauty of it is just how slow she will run I was hoping to perhaps get down to uh, 18 rpm or possibly 15 rpm but I timed her the other day and I'm almost positive we got down to 12 rpm just turning her down gradually
As I said, the flywheel is made out of MDF. I put a lead tyre around to try and help. That's just held on at the moment with double sided tape. Just a plastic crank temporarily running the valve gear. I hope to make a proper eccentric. While I've been setting her up, uh, again a lot of this is experimental so I've left plenty of adjustment on these temporary linkages and on the other crank at the back there, that's completely adjustable. I have got a little bit of a, a wobble on the uh, valve push rod which I shall have to try and sort. The air is coming through this inlet pipe here into the valve tube and in this tube uh, we've got uh, what amounts to a little round bobbin same diameter as the tube one at the top, one at the bottom and they're passing the inlet into the top of the cylinder and into the bottom of the cylinder uh, I thought I'd go for that rather than the valve chest because it does give me some adjustment. I can move the valves up and down. There you can just see the valve coming to the top of the valve tube. Just a piece of plastic for the cylinder head at the moment, uh, crudely sealed with masking tape I'm afraid. So having built it with normal hand tools and just a, a cheap small drill stand from Machine Mart, uh, I have got a large bandsaw but uh, cutting the flywheel out could easily be done with other hand tools. Just turning her down a little bit more, see how slow we can get her to go. Just about stalling on top dead centre. Perhaps I could open the valve a little bit earlier. She seems to go through bottom dead centre very nicely. But watch out for the following videos where I will explain in more detail how I've uh, got this far. They're mainly photographs but uh, you might find it interesting. I'll just turn her down a bit more I wonder if she stalled at that point. To find out you'll have to watch the next video. I hope you found it interesting and thank you for watching.